Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new Ljungberg card to review. Today, I know a lot of you guys have been asking for this one. I think the other one I have to get today after Ljungberg is going to be Clint Dempsey. I think there's Insigne as well. On the weekends, I like to enjoy my time with the family. That's why these ones are a little bit later. Um, so that's why I kind of like pick and choose my time period to uh, check out these cards. But guys, uh, Jundberg, to be honest with you, I actually enjoyed using this 86 rated version in the beginning of the game because it was the beginning of the game, right? Like I would say like the first like two, three weeks, it was okay, right? You gave him like an engine chemistry style and the car was actually pretty cool to use in that left mid area, right? With this card, there has been significant improvements on his card, right? So we're taking a look at someone who has four star skills, five star weak foot, high medium work rates. Uh, that five star weak foot's a really big plus because that with a 92 for stamina is the main things that I'm looking for in a car that is going to be playing in that left mid or right mid position, depending on how you wanna line up, right? Like let's just say you're playing like a three at the back formation and you wanna do that with a card like this because guys, this card on a Hawk chemistry style with that five star weak foot is gonna have 99 acceleration, 99 sprint speed, which is awesome. Shooting is going to be essentially perfect on the card with a five-star weak foot at a 90 composure, okay? His passing for a midfielder or an attacker is in a very good area as well. The curve is high, the vision's high, short passing is good. Long passing is the one that's on the shorter side, but you do short passing more than you do long passing, to be honest. So all of that's in a great area. The main thing that we have to look at when it comes to the Ljungberg card is whether or not his body type, height at five foot nine, is good to work with his base card stats for dribbling. So I don't expect his dribbling to be crazy through the middle, right? But hopefully it's good to use in those side areas. That's the main thing that I'm gonna be seeing uh, when it comes to this Ljungberg card, right? Because on the Hawk chemistry style, you're also gonna be giving him 90 aggression to work with essentially perfect pace on the Hawk chemistry style. And then he even has an 86 for strength for a player that, at least from the other one, I can't tell if that, I don't know if that's a lean, but he, he seems like he has some sort of like physical body type a little bit, you know, but it was still pretty responsive on that card too. So I don't know what body type he has, but it just feels that way with the card, right? So some very interesting stuff to work with. The way that we are going to be using Ljungberg in this team is going to be in that left mid position. I'm going to be switching a lot of things here because they're doing a lot of reviews for different cards. Uh, but with Ljungberg guys, we're going to be using him in that striker position on the right side and on the left side, rotating him between the two to see how he kind of performs in game. If you guys want to see the actual team, you can check out the Mark Noble video. That's the team that we're going to be using mostly. So um, yeah, we'll try him out in that striker position and we'll see how he plays. We try them out striker to get shooting opportunities with the cards for the most part, but you could still test attacking AI because they adapt in certain ways. So uh, yeah, let's go see what he's like. Yunberg with the five star weak foot. Okay, my boy. Okay. That was such a good run, too. Unlucky. Oh, I should have chipped it. I did the shot cancel. I did the shot cancel, and he still gets it. No, dude. Oh, I hit him with the quick dribbly dribblies right there. That wasn't too bad. I like that Yunberg's dribbling actually feels decent on the uh, the Hawk. Oh, good try, good try. Oh, I had it there too. Small little intricacies, huh? Nice, good finish. Let's go, Yunberg. My boy. Yeah, that's good. I really like that his uh, dribbling is actually solid, even with a hawk. Cause then I can hit shots like this. Oh. Oh wow, finesse shot actually works. Look at that. 
A finesse shot actually working. Let's go. Great finish again, man. Let's go, Jenberg. Oh, I tried to change the uh, direction last second. No. Oh my goodness, what a strike. Sheesh. Yeah, I had to work those small little touches. I had to, man. I'd go for the Coquette and then shots. It's not going to work. But when I take that small touch with his shooting stats, he'll bang it. What a shot cancel. Unlucky with the shot. I didn't green it, though, eh? Remember, if you don't green, there's always going to be that variable there. Oh, no, white. No, dude. I tried to, like, shot cancel it once I saw him in front of me there. Gotta do the shot cancels, guys. Gotta do the shot cancels to open up the space. How it works in this game, man. Let's go. Love that. Great goal. It do be like that. It do be like that. No shot cancel. Yeah, I'm doing it perfectly. Come on. What a run, by the ways. There we go. Jönberg. You dashboarding? Oh, he's quitting. Yeah, once he gets that red. We're good. We're good. At the time, a little bit of the L1 touch, you know? Penalty. Oh, I was about to say. I'm like, my G, I got that shot cancel, man. Come on. On delay. Jenberg. We'll take it. Way too close. We get a penalty, but fantastic run by Jönberg there. Fantastic. He's got i I'm going to go down the middle, but I know he's going to go down the middle. Never mind. Honestly, I don't know how he still had the ball there. Nice. Good finish. I like that uh, Jönberg adapted in the middle really quickly there. They did a really good job with this card, to be honest. Oh. Oh, green time shot. Super high up there for the 18-yard box, though. And we'll score that one. Nice. No! Come on, I got the shot cancel! I just want to make it a point that Jönberg held that onside position like a beast. And I appreciate him for it. I'm just going to control. I'm going to control this, yeah. Oh my god! Oh 
<laughs> that works. That works. Good play right there. Good stuff, boys. Oh, what a save by Ramsdale. Wow. He tips it, eh? Okay, guys. So final verdict on the new Freddy Ljungberg card. So guys, in regards to how this card performs in game, uh, I think he's really solid on the Hawk chemistry style. I genuinely believe that you can pretty much use this card in any of the attacking positions, and he would obviously be great in most of the positions. Now, you guys know me. I usually give engine chemistry style to every single card in this game because I think the dribbling is completely horrible, right? So with a card like Ljungberg, you do want to mainly use him in the side positions, which is fantastic for a card like this because of that five star weak foot capability, as well as really good shooting capability. So if you take a look at the traits, he has the outside foot shot trait, which is always fantastic to work with. But if you get into the right positions at the right time and you want to hit some finesse shots, he's pretty decent at hitting them, too. He's just not like crazy special at them. So if you can somehow get some green time shots for that strong foot and weak foot, it is going to be fantastic to work with on the Hawk chemistry style. Because his card is formatted a certain way on the Hawk chemistry style to give him perfect pace while working with 90 aggression, that is fantastic to work with when it comes to him uh, working with spaces through the middle and in the side positions. Attacking AI-wise with his high medium work rates, he adapts really quickly on the pitch, to be honest, like he did on multiple occasions be in the side positions and then run into the middle very, very quickly, which is obviously fantastic to have that in the side areas with a 352 you guys know these guys are usually coming from the wide positions and then cutting inside by default right so uh definitely could be something very cool to work with uh for that left mid right mid area passing is perfectly fine the car didn't really find any issue with that I like that even though I don't like the dribbling mechanics in P PS5 FIFA and I think that they should improve it in regards to each individual card to be in the high 90s, mid 90s area because I think the game's awful. I think that his dribbling with his body type for this game actually works out really well because again, it's like I said, I see him mostly being used in the side positions and if you do use him in the side areas, it's like this card feels like I'm using a better version of Pavel Nedved's card. That's what it feels like. I never tried the moments uh, Pavel Nedved, if he's out, I don't even know if he's out, to be honest. Um, pretty sure he is, because the moments are all out. But this card, guys, in the side area, it just feels like a better version of that Nedved card. So it just feels really, really cool to use there, because his dribbling works well, because of that five foot nine height and body type the way that it's set up, right? So it didn't feel like crazy emphasized. Again, in certain situations through the middle, you'll notice it some more. Uh, but... If you're using a card like this in the side areas, definitely very, very cool to work with. So I think that EA did a good job uh, with this card, all things considered. I think he's a beast, uh, mostly to use on the sides, but through the middle, I enjoyed him quite a bit. So um, yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video today. I will catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, my dudes. Love you guys.